Hello everyone. Today I will talk about actions in others. The first section, code block. I can add some actions under this section. I can rename this action. Whenever I see the name, I will know its function. When I want to delete all the actions under it, I just need to delete this action. This is for better management of actions. Next action, encrypt process. It can encrypt or decrypt a string. View its action settings. Here to select the encrypt or decrypt type. Two types. If I choose one encrypt type, I should choose the corresponding decrypt type for decryption. To encrypt or decrypt. Here I should input content to be encrypt or decrypt. I can also use content in variables if I want saved the content to such string type variables. At last, save the result to a string type variable. Now I have a try. Save settings and test run the action. So this is the encrypt string. Now I decrypt the new string. Copy it and paste it here. Test run it again. Decryption finished. Next action, get app information. It can get current directory of bot chief editor or memory usage of bot chief editor. Here to save the information to a variable. If I want to save directory path, I should choose a string variable. If I want to save memory usage, I need to choose a double variable. Finish and save the settings. Test run the action. This is the path of Botchief Editor. Change settings. Save the settings and run the action. So this is memory usage. Next action, regular expression process. It process strings with regular expressions. Here to input the string to be processed. Here to input your regular expressions. Three commonly used regular expressions provided here. the regular expressions options. It will save result to variable. If I select a string variable, it will only save the first matched result. So a table variable is recommended. And save the result to the selected column. Now if I click test, I can see the test result. Next action, task log. It will display in the lower left corner of the new window when the module is running in the new window. For example, I input a log test randomly. Save settings. I drag task log action to the first. Switch to debug and run and select my module. Hit Run Module and click Run Module in New Window. Pay attention to the lower left corner. There it is. That's Task Log Action. Next action, Quote. It can quote other modules. 
click this button to import a module. This one, for example. This checkbox, I cannot edit it here. But if I click module, I can edit it here. The function of this checkbox. When you emulate a keystroke, only when the browser form shows, can it emulate to input the value you want. That is to say, only when the browser form shows, can it emulate some operations on the page. If I checked that box in this module, when this module is running, the form must be displayed. This is the version of module. Click this button, I can set initial value for variables in this module. If I want to set initial value for the selected module, this module for example, to set initial value is not to set initial value when the module runs, but to set it for variables of selected module here. Next action, keystroke emulation. There is difference between this action and keystrokes emulation in browser operation. It can emulate common keys and also special keys. Send times, the simulation times. Here to set the interval time of each keystroke, the interval time will be randomly selected in the time range. Next one, run CMD. It's command prompt. Here to input the command. Information about IP, for example. Then save the result to a string type variable. Show window or not. If I select it, the command prompt window will pop up. If I don't select it, command prompt window will not pop up. Save settings and test run it. The content in command prompt window has been saved to the string variable successfully. Next action. It runs exe and bat file. To run exe or bat file. Here to input the file name of the file you want to run. If I save the file that is to be processed and Bosch editor in the same directory, I don't need to manually input the file name and its suffix name. If they are not in the same directory, I need to input the file name and its suffix name manually. Next action, run C sharp code. It is to run C sharp code. If you know C sharp well, you can finish the settings and run your C sharp code. But the function must be static. At last, after running C sharp code, it can save result and selected element to corresponding variables. Next one, run JavaScript code. I can finish the settings and run my JavaScript code through this action. Next action, sound process. It can disable sound of the bot. If I don't want to hear the sound of videos or audios when visiting some pages, I can enable this action. 
Next action, shorten URL. It can shorten URL. Here to input URL to be shortened. This URL for example. Select a variable to save the result. Three shortened types, but they have the same effect. If I enable it, the shortened URL will be different after being shortened each time. Input API key, save settings and run the action. This is the shortened URL. Copy it and try to visit it. I still got to the page. The last two actions today, SMS PVA and get SMS code service. I will share them with you next time together with capture action. That's all for this video. Thank you.